This video is brought to you by the Orem's Comics patrons. Head on over to patreon.com slash Orem to become one today. The new Wolverine movie simply titled Logan might be the best X-Men movie in that Fox franchise and is definitely the dark comic book movie we have all been waiting for. Hey boys and girls, it's that time of the year again where we review movie even though I'm a couple weeks late because I was playing a game about robot dinosaurs. Uh, so let's review Logan. Okay, so we're gonna start off with a, like a general review of the movie and then we're gonna get into spoilers later. So I'll give you like a time code warning when we get to that point, but we're gonna start off with just like quick. All right, so overall, this movie was great. Like it was incredible. Incredibly great. I loved pretty much every bit of it. It was a good time. I don't know what else to say. The acting was incredible across the board. Everyone did a great job here. Even Laura Kinney, X-23's actor here, was great. She's a child actor and sometimes those aren't like super par for the course great times, but she was amazing here. The score was also really good here, it wasn't super amazing, blew me away type of stuff like Winter Soldier's score was, but it was still pretty good. It just accompanied the scenes well, which is what a score should do. The action here was something that was incredibly well done. That big first action scene that happens early-ish on in the movie, which I won't get into too much, was awesome. Just everything about it was super cool, and I was like on the edge of my seat being like, ooh, get him. I would even go so far as to say that the action here rivals Winter Soldier, not in terms of like choreography, but just the sheer impact that the action scenes have on the plot and just what's happening in the, the, the way that they serve the story works really well here. Kind of in that same vein, characterization here was also really well done. I know I'm still being super vague, so I won't get into too much details, but X-23, just felt like X-23 in this movie without her even saying anything, just the things that she did were spot on with her comic counterpart. It's kind of the last thing I want to touch on with the stuff that I liked in the general review type section is the rating of the movie and just the tone overall. Starting with the tone here, it was spot on. It knew what it wanted to be for the most part. It had some lighthearted moments, but most of the time it was a very heavy movie because that's what it knew it needed to be. What I do really want to get into here is the R rating, the rating of this movie. It's R rated, clearly, and it didn't, it was great. They did it really well here. This is what you should look towards as an R rated comic book movie. Not Deadpool, not Watchmen, not any other like fringe case that I don't know about, but this. This is what an R-rated comic movie should look like. Regardless of the writers using the fuck word a lot in the beginning of the movie, it was really well done here. Nothing felt held back because of a restrictive rating and nothing felt too over the top because of the rating's relative freedom. Everything was just perfect. It seemed like the writers were just telling the story that they needed to tell without paying any attention to the rating, which is how it should be. Like in Deadpool, one of my criticisms of it is that they just use the R rating as an excuse to let Deadpool say shit and asshole and fuck all these times just because they can now with the R rating. And while they do that to an extent in the beginning of Logan, after you get through that hump, everything is just, it just seems like they're telling their story regardless of the rating the movie has. So that was everything I liked about the movie. I didn't have a super huge problem with this in any way. It was mostly them just saying the fuck word a lot in the beginning of the movie. It just felt kind of unnecessary. Xavier cursed a lot, which felt weird to me. I know it was probably trying to like highlight him going crazy a bit, but just kind of felt out of character. I don't know. So yeah, that's my general review of Logan. This movie just nailed a lot of things for me. It was really good. Just go see it, it's great. But I'm gonna get into spoilers now. Clearly there's a lot more left in this video. So if you don't wanna hear about the spoilers, leave the video now or go to this time code thingy and then you won't be spoiled. So I don't know why you're watching the review if you haven't seen the movie, but I'm gonna start talking about spoilers now. So see you later, folks. Okay, so let me get this out of the way first. There was no mid or post credit scene here. It just, it wasn't necessary. Like the final shot of the movie is Logan's grave. So there's no need to really tarnish that. I'm sure they could have 
like tease the next 23 movie or something like that or even just the next x-men movie in that saga that's happening in like the new timeline or whatever but there's no need it's the end of of the wolverine stuff so just let him rest in his x-men grave speaking of which yeah logan died here this was his last hurrah his one last time and i guess it was a bit to be expected but the way that they pulled it off here was honestly it hit really hard it was really well done they kind of touch on how logan just wants to kill himself and end everything because he really has nothing to live for anymore and when he finally does have something to live for he dies saving it not unlike logan's death was another death xavier died that was wild. That was a wild ride when that happened. X-24 came up and was like, hey, bitch. And then he like, pushed him out of there. He was gone. But yeah, this death also hit super hard. Probably even maybe more so than Logan's because you kind of saw Logan's coming from a mile away. And you also did see Xavier's coming from a mile away. But his just hit really hard because he dies right as he realized that he may have been what killed all of the X-Men or... Or maybe he, like, controlled Logan to kill all the X-Men, and that's why he's kind of fucked up, too. Who knows? Theories. They don't really super go into that, but if they're going by, like, old man Logan-ish storylines, it would make sense that Xavier kind of seized out and just murdered all the X-Men. Also, quick side note about that X-24 dude. Who is he supposed to be? <laughs> I think he was supposed to be Dakin. That's the only, like, comic parallel I can draw from X-24 in any way, just like another clone of Wolverine. So if he has like an actual thing in the comics, let me know. I don't know. He's dead either way. So who cares? Do you care? Me? Do you care about X-24? About X-24? Yeah, yeah. X-24 spinoff! Oh, no. That's my review. I don't know, it's good. Go see it. I cried like six times during this movie. It's a good time. Why wasn't Iron Man 3 like this? That's my question. Tell me about that. Talk about that in the comments. Why wasn't Iron Man 3 like this movie? Remake that movie. Iron Man 3's great. I love Iron Man 3, but could have been way better. That's all I'm saying. Oh yeah, and like I mentioned at the top of the show, is Patreon. There, we have a Patreon. Go over there. Get some rewards. Discord server. Bloopers. BTS. The show on Mondays. Patreon. As low as a dollar a month, you get pictures of my cat. You saw her at the beginning of the video. Patreon! That all being said, before you head out, leave a like, and then, and then thanks for watching. I say that a lot. I mean it. I don't know. Uh, what are we doing next time? Deadpool!